Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video I will be talking about the DeSantis migrant flights, and give you my thoughts about this policy. I hope you enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, a thank you to Gorilla's Random Thoughts for suggesting the topic of this video. Now for those who are unaware, last month in September of 2022, the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, ordered the transportation of migrants to Martha's Vineyard as part of an effort to facilitate the movement of illegal aliens to sanctuary states so that those states that most want to deal with the undocumented can have them and have a taste of what border states have to deal with regarding the illegal invasion, while states that are most affected by illegal immigration can be relieved of the pressure of a continuous invasion of the southern border by land and sea via Mexico, as well as the Gulf of Mexico, by moving these uh, illegals to sanctuary states. Though this has sparked controversy, as those in power uh, within both the federal government as well as within the sanctuary states do bitch and moan about the fact that they can talk the talk, wanting more immigration and providing sanctuary to these illegals, but cannot walk the walk and effectively deal with the illegals without shooing them all away, to be someone else's problem, which is exactly what has happened at Martha's Vineyard. Now on to my personal views. Personally, ladies and gentlemen, I did not know much about this prior to the suggestion of Gorilla's Random Thoughts. Thanks again, by the way. Though I knew that the mainstream media would twist such an event to favor their masters within the political establishment, and paint DeSantis as a monster, who's engaging in morally reprehensible activities against the poor, desperate migrants. Boo-hoo. As I said before, they do bitch, and they do moan. Though I do understand why DeSantis has done this, to highlight the problem of illegal immigration to the Democratic Party by shoving these illegals onto their doorstep, I am also aware that immigration aids the Democratic Party, as their voter base goes up as a result. So the borders will remain open under Democrat policies uh, federally. So DeSantis, as well as other truly Republican governors, should, in my view, continue to bus, fly, and even ship these illegals to states and cities that welcome them as sanctuaries, mainly because sleepy, creepy, rapey Joe Biden will not let the states deal with the invading illegal immigrants by sending them out of the United States of America and defending their respective borders by any and all means necessary. I mean, it is an invasion after all, folks. Now on to the conclusion. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, so long as the federal government fails to treat this illegal invasion of immigrants with the seriousness that it deserves, states like Florida and Texas, as well as other border states, will have no choice but to give the Democrats exactly what they want on their respective doorsteps. For the Democrats to deal with these people, and I foresee this practice of busing, shipping, and flying, will continue until a new administration enters office, secures the border, and repatriates all illegals out of the United States of America, without amnesty and without exception. Then and only then will the United States of America be able to focus on its own affairs so as to ensure social peace and economic prosperity. For that, ladies and gentlemen, we can only hope, because a prosperous America is a prosperous world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I don't think there were any bloopers in it, but uh, here we are. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions for videos such as this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. If you are subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that every time I release a new video, you guys will be the first ones to see it. And check you're still subscribed, folks, because YouTube likes keeping smaller and more independent content creators down while aiding the dying establishment and their allies within the mainstream media. So I'll end this video as we nearly approach five minutes by wishing you all a great day. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye for now.